and other conversation, we all curse shaitan. But secretly, whenever we get the opportunity, uh, people give in to shaitan. They hands up, hands up. Allahu Akbar. They listen to him, his whispers. In reality, shaitan, inna kaida shaitan ikana da'ifa. We are weak. Shaitan is even weaker. He doesn't have handcuffs with which he holds you down, ties you down with chains. No, you can't go to masjid. You can't fast. You can't go for taraweeh. And in, in Ramadan, in Taravi, after eight rakat, he pulls you up. No, shaitan can't do that. Uh, shaitan only whispers. Come on, man, what's the matter? Uh, just relax. Uh, and then a person who listens to his whispers, he's got no one to blame but himself. Allahu Akbar. So Allah has given us guidance. Allah gave us Quran. You know what is Quran? Fadlu kalamillahi ala sa'iril kalami ka fadlillahi ala khalqi. Status of the Quran over everything else, over all other books and words, is like Allah Himself over His creation. Our, our youngsters, mashallah, reading, reading Harry Potter. <laughs> now it's come to an end anyway. Uh, but before even the dates, the out, mashallah, cues and cues. I used to teach in school, and when the last Harry Potter book came out, uh, within two days, uh, the youngsters had read Harry Potter. 800 pages, Allahu Akbar. Other books written by other people, human like us. But fadlu kalami illahi ala sa'iril kalami ka fadl illahi ala khalqi. Like the glory of Allah over his creation, similarly Quran over everything else is so virtuous. Uh, Ramadan is the month of Quran. Shahru Ramadan, Allah di unzila fihil Quran. It is because of Quran that Ramadan became so special. And what do we know about what is Quran? If all the humans and the jinns, I've already told you there are more humans, if there are six billion humans, there's Allah knows how many tens of billions of jinns there are. Because jinns are a head star and they live very long lives. Once a jinn, Ibn Hajar Asqalani Rahmahullah, who was, who's, who was one of the grandest scholars in the Islamic history, he's written many books. He's written a commentary on Sahih Bukhari, known as Fath al-Bari. He's written many other books as well. Another book he's written is called Ali Saba fi Tamizi Sahaba. In there he's written, once a jinn came to Rasulullah. Jinns live very long life. Once a jinn came to Rasulullah and he said, Ya Rasulullah, my name is Hama. Hama bin Heem bin Lahim bin Laqis bin Iblis. I'm the great grandson of Iblis. He said, when Adam al Islam's two sons, Habil and Qabil, they fought each other, Kuntu Fita. I was a, I was a young man. Thumma Aslam to Ma'anur. Then I became a Muslim at the hands of Nuh alayhi salam. And then I was with Ibrahim alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, and Suleiman alayhi salam, and others, and eventually Isa alayhi salam. And, if, and Isa alayhi salam said to me, if I remain alive and you appear, I should convey you his salam. So, Ya Rasulullah, I give you the salam of Isa alayhi salam. When anybody gives you salam, if anybody says to you, brother, can you, you give him my salam? Then you should say, Wa alaykum us salam, wa alayhi salam. When if somebody says, as salamu alaykum, you say, Wa alaykum us salam. Better, wa alaykum us salam, wa rahmatullah. And even better, wa alaykum us salam, wa rahmatullah, wa barakatuhu. Wa idha huyyitum bi tahiyyatin, fa hayyu bi ahsana minha, aw rudduha. If anybody makes salam to you, then at least return him, or even better, you make something else. As salamu alaykum. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. But if somebody says to you, Brother, give that brother my salam. Then you say to him, Brother, salam upon you and salam upon him. And when you get to him, you say, Brother, someone gives you salam. And then he should say, Brother, wa alaykum as salam wa alayhi salam. Salam upon you and salam upon the person who sent me, but upon you first because you brought it. Uh, so similarly, Isa alayhi salam said to Hama, if you remain alive and the final Nabi appears, give him my salam. Uh, so Rasulullah accepted his salam and returned his salam. And Sahaba said, Rasulullah left this world without telling us that Hama had passed away. So it's possible he could be alive now as well. So jinns live very long life, mashallah. Many, many times more jinns in this world, Allahu Akbar, uh, than humans even. And Allahu Akbar. And Allah says in the Quran, Six billion humans, 
who knows, might be 10, 20, 30 billion jinns. Jinns are very powerful. They aren't, they aren't weaklings. Allah has mentioned the story of a grand prophet, a very wonderful prophet of Allah. His name was Suleiman alayhi salam. He made a dua to Allah. Ya Allah, Rabbi habli mulka la yabaghi ahadim min ba'di. Ya Allah, give me a kingdom you will never give to anyone after me. Allah says, فَسَخَّرْنَا لَهُ الْرِيحِ Allah put the winds in his service. Allah told in the language of the birds. وَعُلِّمْنَا مِنْ كُلِّ وَأُوْتِينَا مِنْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ عُلِّمْنَا مَنْتِقَ الطَّيْرِ Suleiman alayhi salam and his father Dawood alayhi salam and they could speak the language of the birds, of the animals. Allah put the wings in the service of Suleiman alayhi salam. وَالْجِنُّ يَعْمَلُونَ لَهُ مَا يَشَاءُ مِنْ مَحَارِيمِ the jinns were in his control and he would use them for construction work and so on and so forth. Allahu Akbar. Jinns are very powerful. And once there was a bird as well, his name was Hudhud. Now Suleiman was traveling and he used and the Hudhud is such a bird it can see from the sky a deep X-ray vision. Deep underground where there is water. So where Suleiman would camp, he would summon Hudhud, he would tell them where there is water, then the jinns would dig. And they would provide the water. Suleiman al-Islam landed somewhere to camp, time to, for salat, and he asked for hudhud. Mali Allah al hudhud amkana min al Why? You know, he took the registration and hudhud was absent. And he said, Where is it? La wadhibanna hu adaban shadid and awla adbahanna hu awla yati yani bi sultan in mubin. Hudhud, when it appears, I will punish him, or unless he comes with a very strong excuse. And very soon, فَمَكَثَ غَيْرَ بَعِيدٍ فَقَالَ أَحَطُّ بِمَا لَمْ تُحِطْ بِهِ وَجِئْتُكَ مِنْ سَبَعٍ بِنَبَعٍ يَقِينٍ They went a little bit further and Hudud appeared. Apologized, presented his excuse, and he said, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Nabi Allah, I've come with the news which you don't know. أَحَطُّ بِمَا لَمْ تُحِطْ بِهِ Even Hudud knows that the prophets don't have غَيْب. غَيْب is only with Allah, even Hudhud, an animal knows, a bird knows, the knowledge of everything is only with Allah, even a prophet of Allah doesn't know everything. I bring you confirmed intelligence. Intelligence. Allah, what? They said, we have confirmed intelligence. Saddam Hussein has weapons of mass destruction. Oh, Taliban, they are harboring. Bin Laden and others, oh sorry, that was wrong. They bombed the living daylights and they bombed the whole country back to Stone Age. Uh, oh sorry, oh, we thought that was the okay, case. Sorry, it was wrong intelligence. Who said no? Confirmed intelligence. Uh, proper intelligence. A woman, he said, to, he was so astonished. He said, a woman in me wajat tumrat and tamlikum wa utiat min kulli shay. She has such a throne and everything, and the people they worship the sun and they don't worship Allah. So Sulaiman said, okay, take this dawah and give it to her. Inna min Sulaiman, wa inna bismillahi rahman rahim, Allah ta'ala wa laya wa atuni muslimin. Don't rebel, just come, become a Muslim. And so she went and she made mashura, she had a cabinet meeting. Ya ayyuhal mala waftuni fi amri, advise me, what do you think we should do? And the advisors, they said, oh, this man, how dare? Nahnu ulu quwa. We have all the power. We have might. They said, might is right. And we have the power, the technology. When they were bombing Afghanistan back in 2001, in one of the newspapers, they said, technology versus God. Technology versus God. Allah But who can fight? Allah gives people leave and let them think they can bomb whatever. But eventually Allah will have the final say. And so to these people they said, Nahnu ulu kuwa. We have the power. Wa ulu ba'sin shadeed. Wal amru ilayki fanzuri maada ta'muri. But Bilqis, the queen of Sheba, she was very intelligent as well. She said, I have a plan and the plan is let us test Suleiman to see what he is. Is he dealing Nabi Allah or is he just a pretender? If he's a Nabi Allah, then we should fight him. If he's not a Nabi Allah, just pretending, then we can, we can fight him. We'll teach him a lesson. And so they sent many presents to Suleiman al Islam to lure him, to lure him, and to see if he will be tempted 
But Suleiman al-Islam, he wasn't impressed. Uh, and he said, all these 